I have a question. So this thing... Like, I can just... All of our food, wants, and desires... ...are here. Now, I have to be careful that I don't, like... ...that I don't over-farm this or whatever, right? Like, if I eat a marble melon... Do these things just regrow? This is all new to me, so I'm not sure what the best plan of attack is. You know what I'm saying? But uh, hopefully they just regrow, and I gotta make sure that I don't completely get rid of all this. This power seems to be going fine. Acid mushrooms seem to degrade really slowly. So, yeah, I think we're good. Good timing. We're gonna get some fresh water. Look at that. That's so cool, man. We'll take it. Let me just store the salt, because I don't really need that. Uh, we'll keep the water, but we'll probably store it on the, uh, well, maybe take some med kits. I want to take a creature decoy, or two. Uh, what else do we have? Got that propulsion cannon, the rebreather, but we actually need to wear the, uh... We're going to need to wear the uh, radiation helmet, so. Just cut a melon to get four seeds, which you can... Pl oh, so do you have to replant them? Huh. Maybe I should... Uh, maybe I should get in that habit. I can't even fit over here. I can fit one. And the marble melon. Oh, this I have to actually eat. Oh! Okay. Okay. Alright, well that's fine. They regrow. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. Joe's no, I did not go to the Aurora yet, but we are we are officially on it right now. We're going. We're going to the Aurora. <laughs> is our is our uh, knife bobbling right now? Okay. Our knife is bubbling. Welcome aboard, Captain. I meant to do that. Velikov, thank you so much, buddy. That's awesome. Thank you for the sub. It's nice to meet you, dude. Oh, I have these freaking things in here still. Oh my god. Can I just... I can't even just ditch these. I have to actually store them. Is this one empty? Not quite. That's our other rare materials locker. We're gonna have to, like, display these or something. Or just chuck them out. Little man dude, how's it going? How are you? Okay, let's get rid of this one. Make sure this is empty. Okay, we'll store some water here. And some first aid. <laughs> and and a marble melon seed. Uh, the decoys... It says this can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Uh, can I deploy the creature decoys in the sea moth? Like, does this count as a submarine, or do we have to wait for that, like, cyclops thing? Ten plus hours in, then are you seeing any gains in the gluten department? In the you, oh, you mean glutes? <laughs> Are you seeing- you said, are you seeing gains in the gluten department? Uh, yeah, my glute- my glutes are huge, because swimming is really good for your glutes. My glutes are- are massive right now. Uh, Cyclops has been explained to me a couple of times, because we see the, uh, we see it in here. So if you look, uh, Cyclops, this is like a big-ass sub, I guess. But I don't know if- if I can launch these from here. I don't know if I need something special. Oh, it is Cyclops? Okay. Well, whatever. We're still gonna take it. If I have to get out, uh, 
and launch those things, I'll I will try to do that, I guess. I'm expecting us to die a horrible death here, if I'm being honest. But we'll see. Uh, Kanifu, thanks again for another donation, buddy. He says, uh, I watched the first three Subnautica YouTube videos and then spent literally all day watching the VODs because I couldn't wait. Now I'm all caught up to the present day and I can join in live. Planning to stay up late in the UK until the stream ends. That is dedication. I like that. I like that. Uh, Floopy Donkey, thanks for the four months as well. Says, my day isn't complete without these Subnautica streams. So addicted. Keep up the good work. You have three incomplete days a week then. But it could be worse. Okay. Guys. Something. Something very important needs to happen from time to time, okay? Every 15 minutes. Every 15 minutes we need to save. And uh, that's on you guys. <laughs> okay? This is 100% on, ch on you guys as a collective. Every 15 minutes... Spam save and I'll do it. Okay. Uh, that's the only way that I'll ever get it done. Now, we have all our radiation gear on. I know there's something out here. There's something out here. I'm gonna stay stay near to the surface. I'm gonna play it cool. I'm gonna turn up the volume. Set more vibe than is necessary. It's funny because the game is so watchable. Everyone gets addicted even when we're not playing. Oh, it's it's so good. It's so good. Okay, now the last time that we ran into this thing, it was just... It was over here somewhere. <laughs> I wonder if, like... Let me, let me just explore other possible entries. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe I don't have to go where we last spotted that thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've... Oh. Have we been to this wreck? There's some stuff here. May as well grab the materials. But I think we've... We've checked this area. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I haven't checked this at all. To be fair, we haven't spent... We haven't spent a ton of time near this area because A, radiation, and B, when we came out here, that thing attacked us, so... Frick, it's dark. I should have came out here during the daytime. That was a mistake. I'm t I, could, I could feel it. Is this cuttable? No. We might not have a way into this one. Jesus. I, I have my volume way too loud. I'm telling you that right now. Damage- oh! Oh, sick! That's the first time we've seen something like that. Whoa, dudes. It's a little disorienting in here, actually. We have plenty of air. That's nice for once. We worked hard to get these upgrades. Wait. Have I- have I been in here? There's like nothing going on. Oh, hold on, never mind. Uh, one thing we could try now... Oh, I guess, okay. How do I bring it in to me? Like, how do I move this? Maybe I can't even. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just too heavy? Cool. 
All right, doesn't seem to be much happening in here. Oh God. I'm watching the oxygen, don't worry. Don't worry. We've seen that picture before. Huh. Sometimes when you come up here, all the sound cuts out. <laughs> Alright. I'm really just freaked out that thing's gonna attack us. I'm trying to delay as long as possible. Oh, my Lanta. Uh, Zippy Pick, Jeff Lands, Seriac. Well, Jiffy Pick and Flans, thanks for the new sub. Seriac, thanks for the two months. I really appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. Tempest Omega, thanks for the new sub. And Mademoiselle Danielle gifted one to Julie. Julie, how are you? Mademoiselle Danielle is always so generous. Thank you, guys. Julie and I are working on something very special that you guys are going to like, hopefully. Okay. Oh! Can I show you guys something? Look what I got made. See that? Do you guys recognize that? How sick is that? Oh! That's right. Wow. Okay. Scribble Melago, what's up, man? Thank you so much. Okay, 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 okay. I'm looking for entrances to this Aurora. I swear to God. I should have came out here during daytime. This is a terrible idea. Oh, but look at these. There's pieces here. There's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I'm kind of terrified. Oh! We've got a couple of, like, Cyclops... Uh... Fragments, like, pieces of it. Nothing of the actual thing itself. Okay. The sun's coming up. I feel way better now. What's this? Power transmitter fragment? Let me just check the rest of this wreckage and see if there's other stuff that we can pick up. Oh, thank God. Titanium, so hard to find. Water? I wonder if we- like, I imagine we could have come- Jeez, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. Uh, let's store some stuff. All of this is good. Let's store this empty battery as well. Uh, water. Let's drink. Uh, Scrib says, as soon as I saw him playing Subnautica, I was like, yes, just the guy that should play this game. You know what? It's funny. Like, a lot of people have said this, this would be your type of game. And every time I looked at it, when it was in early access, I was like, really? <laughs> you guys know me better than I know myself.
Okay, so he's just got, like, wreckage pieces. I'm not seeing any entry points yet. Julie, you, you might have to play this game. Uh, yeah, honestly, yeah. Yeah, you should. And the cool thing is, is like, at least for me, I've been able to play it like, without knowing anything about it. It's been in early access for so long, and a lot of people were playing it during like all these, like it would get an upgrade and then people go in and play it. Uh, and then it would get another upgrade and you go in and play it, kind of thing. But I think... Me having ignored it till now, I'm like, very lucky. And if you're in the same boat... I think you're very lucky. No pun intended! Uh, Jazz says, I've heard of this game, I think it's called like, Mine Block or Craft Mine or... Yeah, I've never heard of that. Wreck it! Oh! Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. What? Oh, I can't fit through there? Oh, I can't go through here? What? Hold on. Oh, I can't go with it. I can't go in there. All right. Welcome aboard. Uh, I'm kind of worried about that whole 24 hour thing. Save. Okay, thank you guys. Good. 15 minutes went by already? Are you freaking serious? Oh, there it is, that little MF'er. Whoa. Is this safe? Dudes. Um, like, there's something, there's some weird, like, invisible wall type things happening here, but... That thing is back. I should swim over there and scan it. Uh, I'm gonna pass. Okay, it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like I have entry points here. <laughs> hey, Dutchie, thanks, man. Dutchie just gifted a sub to Driver X 12693 that was like my old gamer tag on Xbox Live. Actually, my, my I, I, maybe I shouldn't say what my old gamer tag was. Okay. Am I gonna get like stuck under here because? I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna get stuck under here and die. Because of the lack of entry points. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Okay, here.
Oh man, we got pretty far away from this thing. I missed the creation of Oddlocks yesterday and the amalgamation of you and Luckless in The Sims. Oh my god. Pretty sure I didn't miss anything. If that's the case. Okay, I can't like... Oh. This is a dead end, I think. I think I gotta keep working around here because I'm not finding anything. But getting out of here seems difficult. Try walking on stuff? I, I Yeah, I was trying there. <sighs> okay. Oh, hold on here. Can I park? Okay. Oh, we might have found an entry point. Are you serious? Get off. I don't even think this does anything to them. Oh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I gotta- I gotta get rid of these things. Like, how do I kill these? There's so many and they make everything go stuttery. Get over here. Load propulsion can- Fine. This isn't gonna do anything. Send it to the moon? How do I send it to the moon? <laughs> oh shit, Parkus! What's going on today, you guys? Wow, Parkus, thank you for the hundred bucks, man. Can you, like, shoot this? Oh! Okay, there we go. Parkus, that's so nice, dude. You just right-click again, it fires him out of here. Boom. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, thank God we have this thing. Watch this not even be a place we can enter. Parkus, that's really, really nice, man. Thank you so much, you guys. Thanks for all the generosity. It's always appreciated. No message, even. Ah, oh, frick. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I still have our original fire extinguisher? What? Whoa, what? Okay, what's hitting me? What's hitting me? I guess there was some like... Oh, man. Okay. Before we go in here... I need to go to the peeper. I'm gonna grab some more med kits because this seems like this could be bad. It's in the other one. And I'm just gonna maybe... <laughs> Shit. How's my food? Can I go in or do I need to eat some fish? I'm gonna go. I think it's gonna be okay. I don't know if, if you guys realize this is a big deal. This Aurora has been taunting me since the beginning. That's not how you use a fire extinguisher? Don't you just, like, spray and pray, basically? Huh? 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 
Yikes. Lab access. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section or retrieve pre-configured equipment from the lab next door to the data coil. The door code is 6483. You've been waiting for this ship's exploration for a week? It seems stressful. <laughs> Man, I hear you. Oh! <laughs> I was like waiting to interact with it. 6483? So that'll do. Please be food. It'll never be food. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna pick up these non-functional machines anymore. I learned my lesson. What can we learn from the hive mind of Strader 6? Frick, can I afford to read this in here? This is a public document. Okay, we're gonna come back to that after. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Your repulsion cannon blueprint... What? Propulsion. I'm gonna die just by reading through this stuff, aren't I? Oh, office chair. Well, thank God. Okay, the power transmitter. Extends the range of a power source. I think it... Uh, did that upgrade our, our propulsion cannon? The one that we have? To potentially a better one? Let's uh, drink the water while we're here. Oh, it's a modification station upgrade for it. Oh, okay. Man, so like, even if you came to this, even if you came to the Aurora earlier, you wouldn't even be able to get in. You need so many, like, tools. You need that repulsion cannon. Or propulsion cannon. Okay, I gotta go, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna go get some air. Let's save it. My oxygen's kind of low. I'm on it. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I want to survive. It's in my best interest. Aurora black box data? Integrating new PDA data. That seems important. Initiated slingshot maneuver around 4546B. High velocity energy pulse detected on planet surface, which is probably that alien base thing that we saw. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera listening buoy via long distance, long range comm relay. Impact detected, life pod bays on starboard side compromised, outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated, manual piloting transferred to ca Captain Hollister. Life pod 0, 1 to 25, so that answers how many life pods there are. Entering planetary atmosphere, massive impact registered, drive core shield compromised. Emergency bounce backs received from eight life pods on planet surface. Okay. So out of 25, eight are on the surface. Or on, like, those islands, I guess. Human life signs detected over long range at T plus eight hours. One. Us. I guess. Personnel unaccounted for, non-essential systems maintenance, Chief Riley Robinson. Unless it's him. But... Altera HQ Rescue Solution received at T plus 8 hours, high priority terminal and captain's quarters. Monitoring equipment failed at 13 hours. Uh, this is scary. 
Your food is draining while I- well, I know, but my food's gonna drain. What can I do? Uh... I don't think we can repulsion cannon this stuff. Oh, hello. Do you guys think I should leave and try to find some fish to eat? I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna die. And before I get too lost in here, I think we're just gonna make that decision. We're just gonna go swimming with our heat blade and cook some fish because that would be the wrong way to go, in my opinion. Oh, Parkus, he's saying, uh, <laughs> geez, thanks guys. Wow, have you guys been spamming that for a long time? Been a huge YouTube fan since XCOM 2. Looking forward to catching more now you're going now that you're going live. Thank you so much for the great entertainment. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for the donation. I know you didn't include a message, but it looks like you uh you got it. Thank you so much. And thanks guys for making sure that I didn't miss it. I appreciate it. Alright, let's go get some food real quick. Welcome aboard, Captain. Do I have a I don't have a standard beacon, but that's fine. Frick. I hear something out there. Is that? Is that him? I don't even want to turn. I'm not fucking turning around. No, we are on full speed ahead. And uh, we don't need that thing in our life. I can guarantee it, whatever it was, not important. Not at all important. Wasn't a thing. Don't need that. Doesn't matter what it was. Not important. <laughs> Get killed by our own Seamoth. Holy, holy. These whole fish, I think, give a lot of food. High calorie count, those little bad boys. First aid, feel like that's gonna be important. Jeez. Man, I like, even if that thing comes after us, I don't even know how we could stop it. All right, we're good. Let's go. Hold on. I'll grab a couple extras. I know that they'll get old relatively soon, but... This will give us time to read that, uh, that entry that we had as well. Okay. What can we learn from the hive mind of Straighter Six? How are the individuals which make up a hive mind to be categorized? Are they merely dumb components of the larger intelligent organism? Or is the larger mind merely a product of the independent organisms? Or can it be both? When I hear that, I think about Reddit. You know, like... We define organisms by their traits, but find invariably that these traits depend on those of the environment. The concept of a tadpole is meaningless without the concept of the frog it will develop into. Fair enough. The idea of a predator is empty without an understanding of its prey. This begs the question, if we define everything by reference to everything else, what have we actually explained? 
An illustrative experiment was recently performed on the hive mind colony discovered on Strader 6. In case you guys wanted to know. The device... A device was placed outside the nest which would electrocute individuals approaching it. <laughs> Viperath, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Oh, these aren't clean. <sighs> um, a device was placed outside the nest which would electrocute individuals approaching it. An ant colony would have lost many individuals before a basic danger signal was successfully communicated between them, resulting in learned avoidance of the device. Successful, but costly. The Strader 6 colony quickly formed into two factions. One attempted to move the device by brute force, sacrificing individuals as they did so. <laughs> the second attempted to cover the device in sand. These two goals being mutually exclusive, a fight ensued. The first faction was beaten in virtue of their reduced numbers. The device was safely buried, and the survivors called a truce. From the perspective, perspective of the individuals, this experience must have been horrific. From the perspective of the hive mind, a nagging problem had been overcome with one with the most effective solution. Which perspective is the correct one? What do you guys think? We suggest that it is oh <laughs> we suggest that it is neither. By attempting to fit such entities into our rigid set of concepts, we are we are painting onto the world a false impression of concreteness and meaning, which is a reflection of our concepts uh, a reflection of our concepts of ourselves. We describe straighter six individuals as attacking one another, just as we describe microbes in the human body. Yet, the Strader colony, like the body, cannot be healthy as a whole without the aggressions of its components, because it wouldn't have led to, like, the fight, which, you know. <sighs> okay. We describe neurons in the brain as being dumb. I think a fish just hit our sub. But brains as a whole as intelligent. But when an idea takes hold in the brain and forces out inferior ones, do we describe this as an act of aggression? Do we mourn dead neurons? When a philosophy or a technology takes hold in human society, when wars are fought over them and people die, is that rightly seen as being good or evil? This is not to undermine the meaning of our existence. From where we stand, our existence is very serious indeed. But is our civilization and our universe really any different from the colony on Strader 6? Is intelligence something limited to things of flesh and blood? Or is the universe truly one giant intelligent system and we but amoeba blowing self-important potholes in its surface? We would do well as scientists to remember that our goal is not, <laughs> is not to paint the world as we see it, but to see it as it truly is. Well, shit. Do you guys think about stuff like that ever? I do. I think I think that's a really interesting uh, discussion, more than anything. I don't know if it can ever be like truly answered because everyone's just gonna have a super solid opinion. But uh, I like stuff like that. I like thinking about things that are complex. Why don't you grab some fish and cook them afterwards, Lucio? Dude, that is like. That is a relatively good idea, my man. How long did these guys just live in us? I guess I'm imagining that we're putting them inside this little, like, water sack. That's a great idea. Food to go. Done. I like these little guys. I really wish we could eat them. Alas, here we are. People with unchangeable opinions are not worth discussing. That is a really good point. I've never heard it stated exactly like that. Come on. I've never heard it stated exactly like that. But like, that's a really... I agree with that point. 
Okay. Now... Please don't show up, mother fricker! I think we're in again. Just don't anger it. Don't look at it directly in the eyes. Oh, son of a bitch. Where's our entry point? It had to be where it, where it breaks the water level, no? Maybe it's back here. Hold on. Save time. Good call. Here we go. This is like eerie. Isn't this eerie? Uh, Tiberius Dax, thank you for the new sub, buddy. Mademoiselle Danielle, thanks for gifting one to Banana Miller. Max999, thanks for the new sub. And the Coal Strain, thank you for the new sub as well. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. It's nice to meet some of, some of your names I don't recognize, so I know you're probably new here. And I really appreciate you coming over. That's cool. It's very cool of you. Thank you. Guys, my sense of direction in here is basically impeccable. I'm trying to conserve my battery, but... Okay, this is where we decided to turn back, so... This couldn't possibly be more confusing. Oh, we've got actually... Oh, nice. Okay. So we're not really at risk for not having, uh... Air. We are gonna need to replace this battery. Uh, you know what? Let's take it out of this one for now. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Is there anything else under here? Living quarters. Dudes, is that what I think it is? Oh! We've heard so much about this freaking thing. One out of four. The prawn suit, Mark Three. The pressure reactive waterproof nano suit is a range of mechs designed to protect the pilot from extreme environments. The Mark III is the latest iteration and has so far been rolled out by Altera for their own high value phase gate phase gate related operations. 
The suit's fully insulated from the outside environment. Powerful hydraulic limbs allow for manipulation of objects and power traversal of the environment. Rear-mounted thrusters provide maneuverability in low-gravity environments. A range of modifications are available to facilitate resource extraction and enhance exploration. The prawn suit, it's got you covered. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it does. There's another one. Oh my god. This is, like, I'm, I'm super happy that we're finding stuff of importance in here. Uh, don't zap me. Faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. Huh? Oh, of course. Who needs the repair tool? Uh, frick, this habitat builder. You know what? We don't need a battery in you just yet. Uh, guys, I am very excited. Uh, Desed, thank you for gifting a sub to Funicular Goats and Narcissistic Sushi. <laughs> thank you so much for the new sub, buddy. That's a great name, so fitting for this. Yeah, you could sell me half an eaten potato reading like that. Maybe I'll consider a new business plan. Can't uh Prawn Bay. Oh, this oh, this is the prawn bay. This is the locker room. Here's another suit fragment, I think. Maybe not. Oh yep. Wasn't there another suit behind you? You're I, you're probably referring to this one. Don't worry, I'm just checking- I'm just looking. I'm just looking. I'm tr I'm exploring all of the areas. Look, there's like a billion suits. We got it. New blueprint acquired. Now what do we need to build this sucker? Let me guess. Shit loads of lithium. The most common mineral on this planet. Oh, man, okay. Lead, diamond, fine. Enamel, glass, fine. Aerogel, fine. Plasteel, ingot. Okay, so we need like four lithium. It's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. That is totally achievable. Now, when we scan things that we've already had... Are you experiencing psychological discomfort right now, punt? I imagine you probably are. Thank you so much, uh, punt 1971. Is that, is that your birth date? That's awesome. <laughs> Randarth says, uh, I just love that message deleted when you message deleted and then it's just message deleted. Sick! <laughs> uh, so... When you scan things that you've already gotten, I know we, that you get titanium. The question that I was going to ask... ...was... ...is it always just titanium? That's not, like, such a bad thing. Frickin' batteries, man. This wouldn't be too bad if our vertical was more than, like, four centimeters. 
Just saying. Okay, so living quarters and locking locker rooms. We'll check out the living quarters first. Canteen, supply, police back there, looks like. Hell yeah, we'll take that. Do you have- Oh, I was just gonna say, do you have those little food blocks that we got at the beginning? That's amazing. Alright. I should probably have maybe saved that. <laughs> Oops. I'm not going to catch fire this time. Oh. Huh? Fire Marshal Bill here. Oh, vending machine? Vending machine. New blueprint acquired. Save. Okay. So what is a vending ma I mean, I know what a vending machine is. So let me preface what I'm about to say with... Let me, ch let me ask you this way. What can it do for us in this world? Vending machine. All right. <laughs> All right. We don't have a listing for it. Like, do I have to pay to get my own things out of a vending machine? If I do build it? Single wall shelf. Wow. It's, it's actually really cool the amount... Of detail you could have in your base if you really wanted it. Forgot to ask, how are Ram and Dex? They're really good. Ram's doing great. Uh, Dexter's doing great, although I'm a little pissed. Because he doesn't seem to want to hang out with me down here very much right now. Integrating <laughs> new PDA data. Uh, that's so funny. Uh... <laughs> Scribs Fire, thank you so much for the new sub. Jason all. How are you, man? It's good to see you. It's good to see you, Jason. Uh, thanks for gifting a sub to Silverhawk3234. Uh, oh, that, that trash can is how we delete stuff? Oh, cool. Very cool. And Pula, thank you so much for the 420. Says, uh, you replied to a message I put in chat on yesterday's Twitch VOD. It kind of freaked me out. I figured no one would see it or reply, let alone Odd himself. So I was working today, and I work from home. So, uh, I work from home 99% of the time. But I'm working away, and I see these little pop-ups sometimes that say, Hey, this person left a message on your VOD. So I click on it, and then, I can't remember what you said. You said something. And then I just replied. And I didn't know, like, if that would trigger a thing. But I do remember you doing that, so... It's pretty funny. Can we get this? Oh, yeah, we can. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I get... I want to get a sign like this. It'd be cool if you could build out, like, your own menu. Data downloads. Today's menu. How should we, uh... Okay. I'm going to put myself in, like, the classiest flying restaurant because this thing used to fly it's in the ocean now so don't be surprised or don't be uh too too confused but it used to fly uh <laughs> on today's menu our starter is a space bear velute since their introduction to the interstellar vacuum in the 21st century microscopic tardigrades or space bears have adapted and flourished where no other life forms have survived. Condensed into a smooth, nutty, protein-rich soup, 
they are the freshest local ingredient available to travelers on long haul space flights. That's not bad. Jacobomb, thanks for the bits. That earned you a space bear velute. <laughs> uh, that, these cost 500 bits, by the way. The starters are 500 bits. Hey, what's up, Lucas? How you doing, dude? How you doing, Lucas? Thanks for coming, man. Uh, okay, here's our main. It's cottage pie or a nutrient block. Rehydrated minced beef in its own gravy. Served with the topping of mashed Chinese potato, which we're making back at home, actually. Picked fresh this morning from onboard grow beds and a side of sautéed Chinese potato plant leaves. For the time-conscious consumer, the usual nutrient block options are available. They have been... They, they may be consumed cold or reconstituted at the on-site fabricator. Oh. You can, uh... You can modify... Uh... Nutrient blocks, maybe? That's cool. I imagine this is this one goes for 500 bits. This one probably goes for like... 1,200 bits in this world, I would imagine. And then dessert. Dried fruit and nuts. Unfortunately, a recent accident in Cargo Bay 3 involving the incorrect application of a repulsion cannon in combination with a modified battery charger resulted in the venting into space of all dehydrated desserts. Fruit and nuts will be the only available dessert for the next 39 weeks. These people would be pissed. They're probably giving these out for free. Because of that little mishap. Do I need another fire extinguisher? I mean... We can always ditch it, I guess. Okay, and that's the canteen. What if that creature gets in here somehow? Do not tell me that that can happen. Okay, cabin one, cabin three. Jeez. Oh, the captain's quarters. Oh, don't we have a, uh... Wait, we heard about the captain's quarters somewhere. High, oh yeah, high priority terminal and captain's quarters. Frick. Did we find this code somewhere? This one we- Oh, here! I knew we saw this. High security terminal inside the captain's quarters. Code is 2679. And you guys say that I don't have a great memory. Carry all. Inventory full. Common bag for transporting personal items. <laughs> Why would I want this? Uh, Shaggy saying, back in the earlier build of the beta version, the Reaper used to be able to get stuck in the safe shallows, so you come out of your life pod and he'd be right there? Really? That's funny. So that thing is, that's what it's called, is a, that's called a Reaper. Do I need this bag? It's just decoration? Rising above the competition, Prawn Suit Mark III. Hell yeah. Oh, this has a door code 2, though. Don't know if we have one for cabin 1. 